let's talk about New Year for a second. Yeah, let's. Hey. <laughs> Waiting for this, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. come on, let's do this. Let's go. Give me AM. Wow. Looks like it's time. All right, really quick. Um, playing the air, you play as 2B and Ninus. They are androids made by humans with the sole purpose of fighting against the machines who have exiled humanity to the moon and reclaim what? <laughs> Robots kicking humans off of the earth is the most hilarious concept to me. It's like, y'all gotta go. Y'all ruined this. Bye. <laughs> Sorry. Continue. The machines kick humans off of earth and onto the moon. And 2B and 9S is on, they are on earth to reclaim it for the glory of, of mankind. Their mission, however, is not as clear cut. You end up guiding them through earth as they discover what it really means to be human. What does it mean to be human? You can play the game and find out. <laughs> the first thing I want to talk about is combat. As with any platinum game, combat takes the center stage. They do it a little bit differently in this game as compared to others though. The camera will shift and that, change, and that changes the action. Mm-hmm. The game will switch between 3D platformer action title, which is typical, to a side-scrolling action platformer, to a twin-stick shooter or a bullet hell as most people call it, and back and forth. The transitions are mostly smooth, but it does help keep the game very refreshing. Is there like an equal amount of the game shifting in the three types of fighting? It's all tonal. You'll, it'll happen randomly while traversing, it'll happen during boss fights, it, it, there's no telling when it's gonna happen. I got one more question for you. Do we play as 9S at all, or is it just all 2B? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> good, <Sure>. good answer. <laughs> the game also draws a lot of inspiration, so it kind of wears a lot of masks. There are elements from Dark Souls, actually, where one, if, you're, if your character is knocked out or killed, you're able to go back to retrieve your, uh, your parts from this body. Also, you'll see other dead androids around and you'll be able to revive them or take things from them. And also, you can pray for them, which will then heal them in their game. It's religion in this game, okay. (laughs) Um, There's also a full open world which haunt me completely off guard but it's actually filled with quite a bit to do. And it doesn't look all that bad for a place that's been wrecked and pretty much reclaimed by nature. Sounds about right. Fair enough. And there's actually a very, very robust customization system. You can customize everything from, of course, weaponry Uh to some more passive things like being able to get health back when you kill an enemy or when you do a successful perfect dodge the time slows down a la Bayonetta. There's a pod thing that kind of floats around behind you. You can give it, give that different attacks. There's a lot you can do with this game and it's actually pretty impressive. Did you name your little pod? No. You should name it. It looks like a PlayStation though. (laughs) Last but certainly not least, there is the campaign. There is a full quest system that takes advantage of this open world and side quests. Between 2B and 9S, 2B is very stoic and 9S is an extrovert and seeing them interact is at times hilarious and other times very touching. And that also carries over to how they interact with their environment and also some of the machines they come across because the machines aren't so heartless as as the game makes you think they are. You did post a video earlier where I don't know was that a glitch that was happening in your game? <laughs> <laughs> but I, well, from what I do see, it, it kind of corresponds to what you were saying. How the robot was protecting like a warthog or whatever that mm-hmm. was. The robot was um, it, it took it took some warthogs in and pretty much began to care for them. Which in the beginning of the game, the machines are seen as like these heartless criminals who once again kicked humanity off Earth and pushed them to the moon. Bogus. Oh, and if that wasn't enough, the game has multiple endings. Uh, <laughs> how long is this game supposed to be? I don't know. How many endings are there? I don't know. <laughs> but I'm destined to find every one of them. To sum this up, my game for Nier is brilliant. I initially went into the game 
into Nier thinking it was going to be a quick and fun little hack slash title, but I got something completely different from that. The, game, the combat is fast and fluid, it's kept alive by changing camera angles and controls, it's accented by a full world to explore and surprisingly robust customization options, and is given reason with both a laughter inducing and very thought provoking campaign. And when you think the, the game is done, it just changes perspective again, and it asks you to do the same. So your word is brilliant? It is brilliant. Good. I can't wait to play this brilliant game. <laughs> <laughs> a wonderful way to start the year. Hey. 